What is up, everybody? We are out doing some muskrat trapping today. At least that's the plan. I don't know how many traps I'm going to get out, but I have, I don't know, 12. I have about 15 um, traps here to try to set. God, I'm trying to get my keys in my pocket. There we go. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> that's GoPro here. Um, I'm actually going to be trying the Hags bracket system for these muskrats today there's a hags bracket there use a quick link to attach it there's a much better way to do this if you want to see that go over to j3 outdoors jeff haggerty's channel he'll show you a cheaper you know way to do that faster i don't know or i don't know if it's faster it just won't cost as much you know you don't have to buy quick links you can do it with the uh swivel at the end of your traps but See that cute little guy? It's a Blake and Lamb number zero. Bought that for 20 bucks at the uh, convention in Wadena. And Jeff, I know you've been wanting to see this in action, so I'm going to try to find a really good spot to put this. Um, yeah. These, so you can use these as baited sets. He has bait holder clips. I just brought some wire with in case I want to use any of that kind of stuff. But my plan is just to set it around huts or just feed piles that I find. There's not a million muskrats in this area. They're, the muskrats have kind of dissipated from right around where I'm at. For the most part, I can drive a half hour and find a bunch, but right now, I just can't. I just can't do that because I have some other traps around here that I need to attend to. So anyway, got the rods, got the kayak, the Perception Outlaw 11.5 trapping machine. Anyway. I'm going to set out some muskrat traps with this uh, new lock system that's pretty slick. I'm actually really liking it. I watched some uh, just videos on how to set it up. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to trap some muskrats, you guys. Let's do it. All right. We actually have a, a muskrat toilet right here. And I, I know that they, they climb up and climb all around this toilet. So I'm just thinking of how I want to set this trap you know, versus setting it right up on top of that thing. Oh, let's see here. Traditionally, I would set this right on top of that poopy mound, but we're not going to do that today. We know that muskrats swim up and around this, like, a lot when they're actually using them. Got a lake and lamb stop loss. Had for a long time. Let's set that like that. Here's this bracket now, okay? This slides over the top of this, this there's a rod here. Oop. Okay, this goes over the top of this rod, like so. There we go. And you can, the good part is you can put it at whatever, you can lift it up, put it down, put it whatever you, you know, wherever you want to. See, see that? Put this in whatever slot you want. It actually holds that trap, flip that jaw over, Look at that. That is pretty sweet, if you ask me. I don't, like I said, I don't know exactly how I want to do this, but I think I'm just going to put it just like this. I'm going to put this trap right like that on here. And these muskrats are going to come wandering up here. Maybe, you know, maybe I should put it. I know they, they definitely climb up right here. What do you guys think? Maybe I should put it right here. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it right here. The good part, I can I can literally pick this thing up and put it wherever I want to. There we go. So there we go. Trap is set. Hopefully one of these muskrats climbs up and climbs on this. Alright. So we set a little uh toilet set over there. I don't usually find giant houses on this particular lake, but look at this thing. I mean, this is at least four feet tall off the water. Just a monster. I'm actually gonna kind of gang set this whole thing here. I'm gonna, I'll probably set at least three traps around this with those hags brackets. See, there's a cootley in there too. Duck hunters must have guessing shot it and <clears throat> just left it. I sometimes do that. Oh, but anyway, yeah, 
going to uh, get some hags brat or some some set up here and show you how to gang set this house once all right we got our got our duke set here we're gonna put my put the trap right in there look at that sets in there really nice there's a nice feed pad on the back side of this hut right here turn that a little bit ooh, just like that still getting the hang of this so you don't want you really want your trap just resting on it I don't think there we go there perfect that's exactly what we need right there so the rats are gonna come up here go to climb up in there snap jump off that or pull move the trap around it's gonna go off off and oops, and uh, gonna drown there so I need to get the hang of this so I what like I assume you can push so you push this down the bottom as far as you want then you can either set the, the 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 height that you want like that i just did or you can preset it and shove it in the water you know the way you'd like but i'm getting used to these brackets here jeff don't worry I really like, I mean, I like how simple they are. There we go. All right. So I shove that about into the bottom as far as I want it to go. And put that in there. And I'm going to lift it up myself. And set it down where I want it. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Muskrat's gonna come up in here tonight. Bam, wham, bam, thank you. You're done. We come around the house here. This is where I assume a normal person would gang set them at, is right up in here. Um, <clears throat> oh, let's see here. I know I, I'm gonna put one right against the house, right here for sure. There's a lot of, just a lot of trimmings right here. Um, I think I'm gonna put one right there even too. All right, Jeff, we're gonna try it. We're trying Tiny Tim here. See if he can produce something. It's gonna be a high pan set, but we're, we, you've seen it, we're gonna give it a shot. It's really the set that Jeff's been waiting for. I'm gonna picture this quick for him, <laughs> like that. All right. <clears throat> All right, so got this little, this number zero jump right here. It's gonna work. Okay, there we go. <laughs> got that number zero right against the, right against the hut there. Hopefully a uh, muskrat wanders into it. And then we're gonna put this guy right here. Old school Blake and Lamb, number one stop loss. Yeah, it's getting real now, boys. We're going old school on this side of the house. I mean, uh, old school Victor, number one stop loss. Jump stop loss even. That guy. There we go. Okay. We got that one in there. Hopefully nothing gets stuck in these traps. That's the only thing I don't like about these pin reed houses, you know. Can you get uh, pin reeds in the trap too instead of just muskrat. But I'm mm, gonna try that little guy. I'm gonna try to get a bunch of the weeds away from it. Here we go. Got four, four traps on this hut right here. So let's hope for some good results tomorrow. All right, going back down this stretch towards my truck here. Found a couple of nice feed pads here. One right here, one right there. They're about six feet apart. And I'm not running low on traps per se, or I'm, I'm down to 
basically get down to uh, where I want to be at, you know, with my traps here. So, I'm going to shove this guy right here in the bottom. I like this, nice and nice and muddy over here. That stuff out there was like, basically clay. I didn't, didn't really, or not clay, really like rock, hard rock. I didn't really like it. Did not really like it that much. Ooh. Some nice rat houses out here. You know, I'm not seeing the amount of activity and feed pads that I should be seeing, I think. So I don't know how many, per se, are in the area. But hopefully tomorrow we can just take a few, for sure. Because I love rat trapping and I definitely need to get a video out for you guys. Right. By butchering Jeff's, uh, Jeff's, uh, the way to do it here but you can see I think I did that one pretty good got that trap just under the water here by this feed pad rats are gonna come in go right into that get caught jump right into this deeper water here oh, got another nice prime set location here see that feed pad right there mm-hmm I think I hear a dog barking that has lost its voice or something. Oh, there we go. Nice soft feed, feed pad too. I'm gonna push down on it a little bit. That way I can get this trap right under the water there. Push that down in the mud, just like that. I don't there we go right on top of that feed pad another trap in my kayaks floating away Ugh. oh all right one more trap right here is a nice little feed pad there's a bunch of sand and stuff here which we can use quite a bit we're going to add a little bit to it, I think. Ooh. Shove it in the bottom somewhere out in this region. All right. <sighs> Get this guy right up in here, like so. And shove this in the bottom, like so. And there we go. <sighs> Yo, we are back for our first check on this rat place I, I want to call it a slough but it's not it's a big old fishing lake but then we got a set there i can't tell if there's any action or not bunch down here bunch set out in these out in the rushes out here on these other uh houses and whatnot but yeah there ain't much to it but let's get to checking some traps right so we uh Made one last set last night. Over here. Hey, I think I can actually see a muskrat floating. 
Yep, there is. There's a rat right there, you guys. So we're not going to get skunked. <clears throat> not right now, anyway. Yep, a big rat, too. That guy right there. Right up on this nice little pad. Look at that. Big old rat. Whew. Front foot catch on the old Duke stop loss. You know, I, and I was thinking to myself, like, this is probably not a good idea. Like, the set might not produce, but you know what? If you got traps and you can set it, go for it. Look at that. See that? Boom. Already reset that trap. And we got us a, like a freaking giant rat. You guys. Whew. Look at this guy. Give me a second to get out of the crap here. And I'll show you. But, yeah. Big old monster Minnesota rat right there. That's for sure. Oh, freaking canker boys. First trap. So we're not getting skunked. Let's hop in the old kayak over here and go check the rest. All right, we're at our one place to reset. Four traps, mind you including my little guy no way the little guy worked you guys the little guy worked there's one well there's one rat right there i think it's in the little trap is that two one rat two rats <clears throat> oh there's a third rat that didn't drown so three rats And a, oh, one should have been four. We had one twist off. Oh, the oh, he didn't jump off and run down the thing. He <clears throat> he was in it, and he r ran around the stick instead. So it should have been should have been four. Should have been. Four rats here, you guys, what it should have been. All right, <clears throat> reset that trap. I brought it out a little bit. I think it was in a little too deep or in a little too shallow, which happens. Got this rat right here. He was also in a little shallow, but back leg catch on him. Back leg catch on that muskrat. We're gonna set him right there. He's gonna be floater. And uh, I mean, it didn't didn't get away or anything. That's why I use stop loss traps. Keep that keep that nose and stuff away from, or their their nose away from the bottom of the trap down there, so they don't get down there and twist off, chew off, whatever. Everybody wants to call it. I want to get this stuff out of the way here. <clears throat> Here we go, got that one reset. And then like I said, I got two, two more around here. So we got a triple, it was a quadruple, but we did, we did lose one. <clears throat> so I'm extremely happy with how this is going here. <clears throat> Pull this up a little bit. Get this rat up here. There we go. Oh yeah, the old school. Oh, and it's a giant rat, you guys. Look at that. Old school Victor stop loss. Look at that. Front shoulder catch on that guy. Ooh. Old school Victor connect on a giant. Connected on a giant. Are, you know I'm, I'm i think this trap is probably 50 years old at least maybe older but it just goes to show i mean this trap is still working i'm gonna make a little pocket here for it to rest on we're gonna put it right back where it was before 
like so. That worked out so slick. There we go. Just like that, you guys. Freaking monster rat. And then my little tiny number zero, Blake and Lamb, connected. I was worried that it wasn't gonna make it. But as you can see, front foot catch on that little guy right there. That is awesome. That is priceless. I'm not even kidding you guys. There it is. Well, I'm going to reset this guy right this exact same way I had it before. Oh my gosh. Look at all this trapping wire I got laying out here. <sighs> all right. Well, we'll see you guys at the next muskrat hose. All right. So, we're at this next set of traps here. This one sprung with nothing in it. This is a number one blake and lamb jump i like using these older traps um they're probably not the they're honestly they're probably not the most ideal trap i'm you know that's just being perfectly honest <clears throat> i just want to see how everything would work so i'm gonna put this guy right back over here i think oh yeah <clears throat> that over here then over here, I think stop loss are the way to go, really. I don't see my trap, but I also don't see a rat. Oh, hey, there's a big tail right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got another. We got another here. Look at that. We got us another rat. Look, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Nice northern Minnesota muskrat. All right, traps reset. We got us. Now the trap here, and I can actually see a tail floating there. Another successful catch. Ooh, a nice big rat it looks like too. Oh yeah, another big rat. Look at that, tanker. Boom. I know I'm not, I, there's a lot, there's, there's some points I'm gonna touch on after this video, after I, after I uh, shoot the video of using these locks that I think are important, at least one that's very important, I would say. go trap is reset right there big Oof, the size of that giant that's a freaking massive minnesota rat straight up monster Well, there we are one two three four five six rats we had um we had a couple twist offs and we had some sprung traps i have some thoughts on those that i'll get to to at the end of this video but we'll be back in the morning to run these traps again we'll see you then yo back for check number two on this muskrat situation right here got the kayak out it's gonna be 60 degrees today um yeah, absolutely gorgeous out. Just kind of coming down here to see if I can see any muskrats floating here. We had one yesterday down there. That sprung trap over there. But it's probably already 40 or 40 or 45 out. Um, gonna toss on the old waders. We're gonna get out there, try to pull a few more rats for you guys. All right, we're at this first one here. I see we got a rat in this trap, but 
had come off the thing. Instead of droning, got up on the house over there. So we're going to get out and dispatch them and check these other few traps we got. All right, we don't actually have nothing in these other traps. Just one in this trap here. <clears throat> he must have jumped off of this, and went around and climbed over. Oh, oh, it went off instead of going down to drone. Mm, oh, no. Here we go. There's a nice rat. It's only one, but we also just started to check traps. All right. We're back at this set from yesterday. So we've only got nothing in this guy. A good set too. We're only have, we only have one rat so far, but I can see in the bottom here where there's a floater. I'm gonna run this up there a little bit so it doesn't want to float away on me. <clears throat> there. I can see a ball of fur down here. It's a good rat pad. Nice front foot catch on that muskrat right there. Deep in the foothold, he is. It is. Oh. There. You can sit right there. Smells good. Ooh, come on now. Flip this guy around. Put it on the trap. Like so. Get it right. Back to where it was before. Perfect. Well, not a great check, you guys, but it wasn't fruitless because we got two rats. Two rats on October 31st, 2022. Halloween check, you guys. Two rats on October 31st, 2022. Little Halloween trapping, you guys. Well, we're gonna pull these traps tomorrow and uh yeah we'll see you then hey we are back for our last check on this muskrat slew today it might be super quick i might be like i might show you two same two empty sets and then talk to you or we might get some rats i don't know it's like glass out there though <clears throat> pulling my traps today because deer season rifle season is coming up and i need to do a little bit a little bit of bow hunting but i will be getting some more traps out so let's get at it Oh, I jumped off the wrong spot here, guys. Wow. Oh. Okay. So. Truck's right there. We had this first toilet set right here the other day. Haven't had nothing in it. I'm pulling this these traps today. So I can literally pull this right off of here. Put it underneath here. Bam. We finally connected on a rat here. See that? I throw that in my five gallon bucket. There we go. Nice beautiful rat in the first set this morning. So we did not get skunked, but gosh dang it, there's a lot of muck down here. Like way more than any other trap. How did I? Oh. Okay. One rat today is what we got. I'm not gonna complain because one rat's better than no rats. Well, so featuring these hags bracket system here on the video the last few days, and I have a I don't know a <clears throat> couple takes on this. Uh, I, I do I do really like this setup. It's really good for floating feed or for floating feed pad, beds, you know. <clears throat> ones you might not be able to just stick this trap on they'll sink we've all had that where you have to build them up grab some weeds from somewhere else we're great for that and they have worked with every trap because i guess the real the real uh test was that very first number zero blake and lamb that i did catch a rat on the very first day but here's those clips here's a little bit closer look at them see that 
if you look on Jeff's videos, he, he explains everything what all these holes are for. They can be mounted, like they can be literally be mounted sideways and all kinds of stuff. There's a couple different slots there for trap size, but you just put the corner of the trap there right in the appropriate slot and just set it down. And that, see that? Trap goes in the mud. They actually, he has bait holders. I just bought some. I don't know if I'll get a chance to use them because it's gonna get really cold here soon. But I did buy some 110 clips for these poles so I can set some deeper deeper runs. I mean, these poles are six foot tall. I'm used to reaching all the way down to my shoulder to get those rat runs set. And um, I'm gonna try it with some 110s. But <clears throat> nice system. Jeff, I apologize for me. I've never used them before. I just watched a video and I'm like, this will be easy. There is definitely a learning curve to it. You know, you put the trap on here and like you you know you can shove it down depending on the bottom you have if you have mud or clay or something like that pretty easy sandy bottom is a little bit tougher to get this in because ideally you just want to put this trap in just like this and shove it right down in the mud to the level that you want it me a lot of these places i had to shove it down and then i had to lift this trap up and move it up and down which you know really isn't that hard just i'm not that smart to uh just be able to pick it up just like that <clears throat> One thing I will tell you guys, if you guys don't know, my traps are rusty. When I say rusty, they're not dipped, they're not dyed, they're nothing. They're just rusty. They're, they're kind of got a coarse, you know, they got they have a coarse surface to them. Um, I use them a lot, so it's not to the fact they don't work. They work just fine, but there is a coarse surface to them. Um, I, had a, I had a couple rats that didn't come off of this clip. And I'm, I know, I mean, I can, I know for a fact that it's because these are so rusty and coarse because if you had a wax trap on there or something, you know, this would slide right off the trap into the drowning area where you wanted it to. But mine are rusty, so they, they hang up a little bit. So I think I only, you know, I had a, I had a, a few traps that had rats in them that got hung up on me, but that is my fault. Anyway, Jeff, I like this system. Um, if I get a chance, I'm going to use it some more, but this year it's just not happening. We have a rifle season opens in like three days, so I'll be doing that. Probably won't be trapping at all. I'll be going out with my daughter, and then I have ice show season. But, I mean, it's going to get, in like a week and a half, it's going to get down to like 15 at night and 30 for a high. So we're going to have trappable and fishable ice in no time. But anybody that's interested in this system I'm actually gonna put the links down in the description of the video where you can pick this stuff up I'll probably even put Jeff's uh, j3 outdoors I'll put his video link in the description also that way you guys can check out how to use all this great stuff he's got a lot of videos on how to use it on his channel as well and them in action so <clears throat> well I think we pulled nine rats total not a ton but definitely some action you guys um, thanks for watching stay tuned for some more traffic vids peace out